a very strong storm system that's developing off the uh, the coast of Oregon here this morning. Developed uh, pretty rapidly last night. We expect this storm system to uh, track northward along the Oregon and Washington coast throughout the remainder of the day. A significant uh, thing from this particular storm is this going to be this storm is going to generate very high winds. In fact, damaging winds, especially for the coast uh, later today. We also expect some pretty uh, high winds for the Willamette Valley later this afternoon and into the evening hours. We could see uh, you know 50 mile per hour winds. Uh, some gusts upwards of 60 mile per hour winds with this storm system. What we call maybe a, a quick hitter, so to speak. So as this storm system uh, moves south to north, we'll see that duration of high winds only just a few hours, you know, two, three, maybe even four hours, which is a lot different than a slow moving storm system where we could get these high winds for, for several hours and create a lot more damage. It's actually what we call cyclogenesis. So it's a rapidly developing uh, storm system that happened last night. Uh, it's uh, really quite uncanny because uh, just two or three days ago, the storm system was not even uh, developed. It was just uh, a little disturbance on the Pacific Ocean. So all of our weather models were indicating that there was going to be a very, very strong storm system develop off the coast uh, early this morning. And indeed, that's what happened. On this particular image, we're, we're looking at the satellite imagery and superimposed on that is what we call the uh, sea level pressure field. So you can see those really tight concentric uh, circles around uh, that image. That's uh, pressure field. So the tighter those, uh, closer those those lines are together, the stronger the wind. So you can kind of see the low pressure systems, what we call is closed off. It's uh, very compact and it's on its way north or moving in a north northeasterly trajectory. Sea conditions are very treacherous. Uh, we're expecting uh, sea conditions to be uh, 25 to 30 feet uh, seas out there and uh, really strong uh, storm force winds. And we are probably expecting some brief period of hurricane force uh, winds out on the uh, coastal waters of you know, wind gusts of around 65 knots.